Yeah. How was the flight? That yeah, flight wasn't too bad. A little, little, little bumpy coming down. Asking for a pin? Weather. Asking for a pin, Mike? Oh, asking for a pen? Yeah. Uh, I think it's because it took so long. <laughs> oh, I... <laughs> All right. Oh, here we go. 7035. All right. That is awful <laughs> experience right there. <laughs> what on... Yeah, I don't, oh. I don't understand why they... Because, uh... yeah, because I was like, I don't have a pen, but I guess took until we got out into the no that makes perfect sense honestly yeah far to go but wow <laughs> why well, first technology is complex first it took me forever this this construction is absolutely I bananas it. i i hate it um and then finding the location it is not obvious i know now but this was my first time trying to find the uber section um it is not obvious well and it's because of all this construction yeah and this has been going on for probably or forever we're close to five years now and yeah. it's like you know can you speed it up a little bit because nope. it really does it's a... muck up the an entirety of the the flow around the airport so indeed so so yeah that's uh and then being inside the the garage was like a... well you, you know it said you were there and it was like eight minutes later you arrived because the I, the line looked like it was just ridiculous to it, get in and it's the, only getting worse it's only getting worse well it's it's a friday it's <laughs> summer travel season so, uh, glad you're such a good sport about it, Mike. Cause uh, I, I, I might have been a little furious. <laughs> no, that's well, not. Try, yeah. There, there are some things you get mad about. Like, I'll get, I would get madder if I was sitting in the traffic, just yeah. going, "Come on, people!" But it was a situation was like happy. this. You just, yeah, you just. <laughs> there's, there's, there's no reason to get overly worked up. Not like I have anywhere to be. I'm just going to my house. That's awesome. <laughs> but no, I, I let the car drive. So. Having to drive manually really grinds my gear. <laughs> and with the airport, you have now to I know drive why you have manually. Tesla. You like, you like, you like, I don't like self driving. driving. Yeah, I don't like driving, and I'll never do it as long as I don't have to. But, well, that's funny. Yeah, now I, I'm a big driver, but you know, close style of my car is kind of the the adaptive cruise control. So you can actually take your hands off the wheel and keep awesome. you in the lane for. But if you like 30 seconds, it doesn't feel like hands on there. It's like. Beep, beep, hey, put your hands back on. But, <laughs> um, so my wife actually got to experience one of the self-driving Ubers uh -huh. uh, Waymos, in Austin. Huh? The Waymos. The Waymos, yes. Yeah. And uh, she said it was an interesting experience. She only had to go like a mile and a half, basically, from one part, part of downtown Austin to another. But right. it, was, yeah, it was kind of an interesting experience. And it was a couple close calls. <laughs> yeah, I kind of... I trust that this thing isn't going to hit anything. I can't say that for my fellow, you know, car, uh, my f fellow vehicles on the road. Right. They yeah. might hit me, uh, depending on what this thing can and cannot do. Yeah. But I prefer it having control because I know it's not going to hit anything. Yeah. Me, not so much. <laughs> well, that's, yeah, I mean, I... I don't own a Tesla, but I, yeah, it, 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 it is kind of amazing. You know, one of the things that you know, look at this, like, you know, it just doesn't show you a car now, it shows the fact that there's a truck next to you. It sees a lot. <laughs> it sees a lot. It That's, sees a lot. Which is, which is remarkable. All right, it's, um, I've been doing Uber since about eight. I got out of the VA and just popped it on because I was in the medical district. Yeah. And I was like, let me be helpful. I don't have to be home till noon. And, uh, just going to random different hospitals and the hospitals might be just as bad as the airports in some scenarios. Oh, the medical center? Yeah. yeah. But, you know, it's it, for point A to point B, except that last 100 feet, I think yeah. Tesla does fairly well. I Again, I don't have to worry about anything yeah. as long as it's not the airport or, or a hospital <laughs> parking lot. Oh. Point A to point B, well, that's, uh, yeah. No, it's, it's, it's fascinating. I, you know, I, I, 
I would imagine at some point this technology will be ubiquitous in all cars, but you know, Tesla's just so far ahead of the curve. They, they, they just want a different route, and yeah. part of me was thinking, especially in 2020, that's when I bought my first Tesla, and I saw the artificial intelligence data that they had, yep. and the reporters were like, so you're not using LiDAR? And Elon's like, no, not unless it's a SpaceX shuttle, we don't need LiDAR. And what they found out was that the LiDAR and the radar were giving them conflicting data that was making the vehicle respond slower than they needed it to. Yeah. It felt very robotic. And they were like, can we do this with just vision? And yeah. somebody was like, why not? You know what I mean? Like, their engineers which, are so bright, and they're like, why not? Yeah. We which, do it with eyes and our brain. Yeah. We shouldn't right. be able to do it with neural nets and cameras. Yeah. You would think that it uh, it should do that, but yeah, I mean, it's, it is in some respects kind of driving it, uh, you know, within the, the rules. Yeah. I've been using it for about a little over three years now, and yeah. three years ago, this thing sucked. Like, yeah, my wife would be like, you need to stop using that. <laughs> You're going to ruin my car. <laughs> I was like, I'll buy my own car, and I'll do it as much as I like. And uh, But it progressed so much. Like, I, I can't even, I can hardly believe that I'm doing this anywhere near the airport, honestly. So, yeah. Yeah, I'm, now my, my cortisol levels are dropping. I'm feeling pretty good. Yeah. <laughs> now we're now we're back to relaxing. Yeah, I know what you. Yeah, but that's yeah. Air, airport airport is not. Uh... It will be now. From now on, I think I'll know what I'll do. But it was it was crazy trying to find it. Yeah. Just park. And then the guy will tell you, you can't be here if you're, unless you're reserved. Go this way if you're an Uber. <laughs> Coming back from business or pleasure? Yeah, business. Yeah, yeah. It's kind of a whirlwind tour of our Midwest region, so Chicago, one day, Minneapolis <laughs> the second. Uh, so yeah, this is the third, third straight day I've been on the plane, so I flew out Wednesday morning, flew from one to the other Thursday morning, and now I'm on Friday morning, so. Yeah, it's not it's good. It's not bad as long as you're not super coach, right? Like deep in coach. Like Do I? Like, like on the plane, I, could, I couldn't imagine we go back to Japan. I go back every other year. The wife goes back every year. We can't get in the back of the plane anymore. We're done with. <laughs> well, for that. long flights like that, yeah, that's that's uh, that's hard. But yeah, no, just for for this, I mean, it doesn't matter. You just get in there, get in, get out. Yeah, I mean, it's you know, it's it's fine. It's you know, a little over two hour flight. You have the little entertainment screen in front of you. Um, <laughs> you know, you just get through it. But I have. I have taken long rides in the in the, the back of the bus before, Oof. Um, and it's 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 a it's so probably the longest one. And the reason I, I, I did this was you know I, I used to go over to the country of Oman, which is on the Arabian Peninsula, mm. and basically you you fly to Dubai from here, and it's like fifteen and a half hours, and then it's just a quick quick hop. But, quick hop. So normally I would take take business class, but wife decided she wanted to join along on the trip and I was like well I'll, 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 I'll trade my business class for two coach class I had a good be because it basically what she got was you know I got to bring her effectively for free because I was already paying for the hotel you know nobody cares about the food and then you know you just you know, swap out a you know business for economy plus but that was a little long and kind of the very narrow narrow seats because um, the trip back is 17 and a half hours from, from Dubai because you're bucking up against the, uh, the Gulf Stream right. so it's a long trip in fact I think it's 
like the ninth or tenth longest uh, one-way flight uh, in the world today. So, it's, and the one I guess Cutter Airlines flies here and to Doha, it's not much different. So, <laughs> seventeen hours, and here yeah. I am thinking. Because Japan, if you well, fly direct to Japan, I think it's closer to thirteen, right? Yeah, it's a. Uh, it real for some reason it's a lot faster from Japan to here. Yeah, you got the you got the tailwind, yeah. yeah, rolling at you. But you know, twelve, maybe thirteen hours, depending on how how frisky the pilot is. Yeah. Um, and I thought that was long. I don't know five more hours. Typically, because I'm a camel, I don't want to get up from my seat. Like I, I make a, <laughs> I like a bet with myself whether or not I can stay seated the entire trip to Japan. That might not be healthy, but. <laughs> I like how courteous this thing is. Go ahead, big truck. Let yeah, it, let it's, it very, it's very courteous because that truck, I don't think he... He didn't think I was going to let him in. It was funny. even picked up the motion of it kind of being indecisive on where, where it is. Yeah, so... Uh, My confidence in this thing is yeah. increased in full. can be broken up into different segments but you know the, 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 the fewer planes I have to change <laughs> on the better because you just it just adds an element of you know that what happens let's say you, you want the you least amount of air your, your airport <laughs> and then you know there's a weather problem right or a mechanical issue or you know or your the inbound plane that you're taking was delayed for some reason exactly least amount of variables that's what I tell her when we go we had one connecting flight and out of LA and yeah. that's to be expected like we couldn't find a direct flight to Japan to yeah and so period in LA breaking up and then from LA to Japan it's probably like 10 yeah. hours if that so but we want the least amount of variables bag reasons you know connecting flight reasons Ugh being a bigger brother myself I just uh, I, I, I loathe the airplane bathroom I loathe it <laughs> uh, so you, 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 you must like barely hydrate yourself getting on the plane if you just want to stay in your seat the whole time I, my, my doctor would say I, I have a hydration problem anyway I'm definitely not consuming enough water yeah. in, in general but uh, when it's time for plane rides, yeah, it kind of intensifies, and, and I, I punish myself a little bit. Uh, so, part of Japan, are you primarily, you know, she's, the Tokyo area? Or oh yeah, one yeah. other one of the one of the other prefectures. No, she uh, she lives in Zama City, so we'll take Narita in. And uh, when I was stationed there, I was in Yokosuka, so it was okay. Kanagawa. <laughs> but you know I, I tend to we try to visit a place that I was there for three years and didn't you know it's kind of like Disney World you can't do everything yeah so we try to do something new every time we I go back yeah. she more just wants to hang out with the family <laughs> but she, that's, that's, yeah. that's fine I mean a lot of you know how long do you go for when you do go? Uh, a little over a month. Like over a month, yeah. yeah. You kind of go that far. That you kind of have to. It's two weeks ain't enough. <laughs> it, it's beneficial, right? I'm in a situation where, you know, that's basically her house in Japan. Yeah. And, you know, we don't have to... Lodging over there, it's not expensive, but it's good to have a home base wherever you're at. It is good to have a home base. Now the individuals I dropped off to the airport, they were from Cincinnati, and one lady was from Kentucky. So. Oh, okay, yeah. So now yeah, Cincinnati's <laughs> right, right across the board, yeah. from kind of Kentucky. So yeah, doesn't doesn't surprise me. 
What were they here for? Can work business? Everybody's flying for business. Yep. That's probably, yeah. My lifetime, that's probably been 75% of the flying I've done. It's something for business. Not gonna fly if I can help it. Once, uh, once she's done with Houston, that's where we're retiring. We're going right back to Zama City. Back to Japan. Live out those days. So what's she doing here, or what's she? She is a nail artist, like a nail technician. Yeah. I didn't. I thought it was a hobby. I didn't know she was good at it. <laughs> Like the the amount of money these women pay for these nails is 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 mind boggling to me. And um, she's so. I have good. a wife and two daughters. I know it from which you speak. <laughs> I, I just and especially I if she's kind of talented. Oh, uh, what's up? Oh, this truck. It's. Are we in the way? Look at the yeah. car. Look at the car getting out of the way. <laughs> Look at the car. Because you know what? That somebody programmed I thought I was about that, that to take smart. over. Yeah, I know. That was that was incredible. Oh, I was like, okay, my. We, yeah, I knew he, I was going to have to take over. Angle, and the car was just sensed to it. Too. It, it like, messed up at first, right? Messed up at first. And then it, like, recognized and was like, let me go ahead. Yeah, that that was impressive. I, I'll, I'll have to say I I knew I was gonna have to take over and did not. Have I, to. I was thinking you're gonna have to take over too, and then the car is just like, nope, nope, I got this. I <laughs> Sit got this. back, enjoy your conversation. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes, car, I will. Uh, Holy cow, that's great. What were we talking about? Uh, nail artistry. Oh yeah, she uh, she's actually so good that like I think Channel F, one of the news stations, came down to get her nails done put it on TV when the Astros were winning World Series and stuff and get she did Astros nails for the for the newscaster and uh, I was like wow. you're on TV <laughs> she's that's, that good I was like that, yeah so that's yeah that's the way more than a hobby wish she'd have told me that we, we might not have left Hawaii if I knew she could do that <laughs> but yeah when she's done, you know, and I'd say about a decade, give her a chance to, to make as much money as possible. Yep. And it's time for vacation for everybody. <laughs> in the meantime, I'll just keep investing in a car company that lets me not have to drive. And <laughs> well, yeah, and I'll, I'll, I'll say that, like I said, that neat little trick it just did on the deal is that's that's an advertisement right there your, your it will be on it will be on x <laughs> how to drive these situations better than you do but you were you noticed it before i did and then when i noticed it i was like oh man let me and then i oh and and the, and the only reason i noticed this because i you know i i've seen this you're scenario. a driver you're a driver well and i just you know in that specific intersection oh, yeah, with right, the big right, trucks right I You're from it. here. Yeah, yeah. I recognize, you know, because I, I, I've, I've seen it many times. Hell, school buses sometimes have a problem negotiating the. Oh wow. Up there, so, so anyway, it. Uh... <laughs> Hi guys. Oh, yeah. About, uh, uh... But yeah, Mike. Uh, eventually, I'm glad we got to have this conversation. Yeah, or... yeah. No, I, I. And, and and sometimes you just never know. Like I. I I see the Uber thing, and, and sometimes it, it doesn't even really know where the cars are. So, you know, you think it's going one way, all of a sudden, oh, you're here. <laughs> what did it mess up? So, I don't know. So, I asked my father in law's car. So, it's, it's, is this okay? Yeah, no, this is perfect. <laughs> this is fine. <laughs> These last 100 feet again. You know. <laughs>